so good morning everybody i'm libby dyson i'm an independent stampin up demonstrator in australia and you're with live with libby so thanks so much for stopping by i really appreciate it i've got a new group i've got a new group and it's free to join it's not going to cost you anything and it's called hashtag choose it hashtag use it and it's all about using up your dsp mine's a choose it use it and it'll be more than just using chopping your, your dsp up for card fronts i'll be looking at best ways to um cut your dsp not just for cards but for scrapbook pages 3d projects all those sorts of things there'll be lots of tips and tricks so um go to my blog which is www.libbystamps.com and yesterday's blog post there's a link click on the link It'll take you to a MailChimp form that you need to fill in and then I'll send you an email with the link to join the group. Now I've done that because I want it to remain a safe group. I did it that way so that hopefully we won't get spammers asking to join and things like that. So it's quite a safe group and it's called Choose It, Use It. Okay, it'll kick off, I think, next week or the week after with a live video with lots of tips and tricks and then I'll be uploading videos and um, files and things like that. But it's a free group to join. It doesn't cost you anything. Okay, so it's all about using up your DSP. You're never too late to join on a Tuesday. And don't forget, you can always catch the replay. And if there's something I say or do and you can't remember, just come back and watch it. Now, don't forget to like and share for me, please. I would be very appreciative. All right, so this is the tea room suite. And if you buy the bundle, which is just the photopolymer stamps, and you get 13 of them, and you get the framelit spot of tea framelit dies as well and the bundle 6750 if you order that through me you might look a bit crooked i'll give you free postage this week that's going to be my special this week all right so this is the set and we're using these papers today i'll get them out in a minute the Tea Room Specialty Designer Series paper. So buy the bundle, which is worth $67.50, and you can have free postage. All right, so that's my special this week on the Tea Room Suite. Now, I'm going to pop that over there and bring in the papers. Look at how beautiful these are. So we've got a butterfly one. Are they bees? I'm not sure what they're supposed to be. Look how pretty this is. All right, which paper would you like to use to... Oh, I suppose I should show you what card we're doing. All right. This is the card that went up on my blog this morning, which... I made yesterday it's a drapery fold card and I made one years ago going landscape and last night I decided oh let's have one that goes portrait I've got to tell you something funny last week at cards I go to cards at um, the local community center just to meet some new people as you do when you're in a new area anyway one of the ladies um, shows me her beautiful card and then realises she's left the opening on the wrong side. And I said, oh, it's all right. It's, um, you know, meant for left-handed people. 
And she said, oh, I am left-handed. I said, well, see, you've made it for you. <laughs> so she was going to go home and chop the side off. So anyway, this is a drapery fold card, and this is the one that's gone up on my blog. And here's another sample in the same colours. Coastal Cabana, love Coastal Cabana. These two ribbons, oh, and I didn't get any ribbon down, um, are... The tea room, yeah, bundle. You get the two ribbons in the one pack. So that's great. And I added the mini, um, gold mini sequin trim. My goodness, some of these things have a mouthful. All right, so. Oh, thanks, Karen. Thanks, Helen. All right, so these are the paper, papers, papers. Look at this one. Look how beautiful that is. More. Now, Leslie will love this. A few weeks ago I went on a camp and I did a scrapbook layer of my granddaughter Scarlett with her face painted and I cut a whole sheet of this. I fussy cut it. So, Leslie, there you are. There's some fussy cutting you can do. Leslie doesn't like fussy cutting. I find it quite relaxing. Some people don't like it. Um, and I understand that. It's not for everybody. And sometimes it's quite difficult. But, yeah, I fussy cut the whole sheet. So... Anyway, so they're the papers. So just have a quick look at those and help me decide which one you would like me to use today while I just grab some ribbon. All right, so which one would you like me to use? There's this one that's got that on the, on the back. I've already used this one, so I don't think I'll use that one again. There's the, I think, I think they're bees. I'm not sure. What do you reckon? <laughs> Leslie, ugh, about the fussy cutting. What do you think they are? Somebody help me here. I love the water wash over this just beautiful anybody got any ideas as to what these are if I hold them closer to the camera does that help probably not are they bees do you reckon bees thanks Chris all right so which paper will I use this one maybe do you think Yes, no, go with the flow. Just choose one and go. Is that it? Choose one and go. Now I'm going to show you a trick. We're actually going to make two cards. So what you want is a piece of... Um, so these are the ones we're making. All right. So you want a piece of... DSP, which is 22.2 centimetres by 9 centimetres. So cut your 9 off first. All right, so I'll just bring this in and we'll cut the 9 centimetres. You love this one, Karen? All right, so cut your 9 centimetres off first. And then you're going to cut it at 22.2. Now, if you want imperial, it's eight and three quarter inches by three and a half inches. All right. Now, keep that bit for something else. I'm just going to bring in the scorer and we're going to score at one and a quarter inches or three centimetres. I'll put all this up on my blog so you don't need to write it down. 
um, one and three quarter inches or four and a half centimeters, two and three quarter inches or seven centimeters, three and a quarter inches or eight point three centimeters, um, four and a quarter inches or ten point eight centimeters, five and three quarter inches or twelve centimeters. No, that's not right, is it? Four and a quarter, four and three quarter inches, sorry, or 12 centimetres. Five and three quarter inches or 14.6 centimetres. Six and a quarter inches or 16 centimetres. Um... Seven and a quarter inches or eighteen point four centimeters, and the last one is seven and three quarter inches or nineteen point seven centimeters. All right, now on the end that's got the one and a quarter inches, which was your first end. Um, we're going to put a mark with our pencil on the opposite end at half an inch, about half an inch. So if I just move my scorer, I can just move my scorer on there, not very well. So let's have another go at half an inch. So I put it in my my trimmer because what you can do is get your pencil oh reaching and just put a little mark all right and then you're going to cut from there to the opposite corner so this is the edge that we started at first and i'm just going to Bring that round. I think that's about right. Hold it all down and slice across. Now we've got two bits. That's how come I got two cards. You're not supposed to be able to make two cards, but who says you can't? What's the point in throwing that extra bit away? March flies, do you think, Leslie? All right, so this is our extra bit. So I'm just going to come in now and I think I'll keep this bit on the outside. So we'll start with a mountain fold and then a valley on each score line. So mountain, you just keep going. Mountain, make sure all the tops are um, even valley good morning Kathy house how's work or are you on holidays I well, know you don't have school children anymore do you just uni uni children so mountain valley oops missed one oops a mountain here's a valley mountain valley Bit hard to see. Mountain. Might have missed one there. Here it is. Mountain. Valley. Alright, then I just checked that all the edges are the same. Bring in my bone folder and just encourage them to sit flat. Turn it over. Now, on the other one, I might do it the other way so that we've got the coast, um, what is it? Calypso coral on the outside. So I'll just quickly do that. All right, what colours would you like? Well, we go with the Calypso coral for a base. And then put the very vanilla on top. What do you think? 
Don't forget to go to my blog and sign up for the Choose It, Use It Facebook group on using Designer Series Paper. All right, so give all those some encouragement to sit down flat. Okay, so I'm going to turn that one over because we're going to put the tape on that side and I'm going to turn that one over. And then you just need some tear and tape. This is so easy. Just put that down flat like that. Put your tear and tape across. Make sure it's all flat. Now don't worry about this end because we'll trim that off. All right. And then the same on this one. Tear and tape all the way across. All right. So that's that part of our card done. All right, I'll just get my snips and tidy this bit up. So, are we going with Calypso Coral or do you want to go with a different colour? Card has the base, card base. All right, just netting those two edges up. I'll bring in my samples again so you can have another look. And maybe I'll get some... Um, suggestions so this one's got the um the coastal cabana with a very vanilla on top and when you open it up and then this one's got this is just very vanilla and i've inked around the edge in coastal cabana so what would you like me to use just very vanilla or uh, Calypso Coral or another colour. The other colours that go with the suite are um, Coastal Cabana, Old Olive, Crushed Curry, Rich Razzleberry or Calypso Coral and Very Vanilla. Okay, we might go, oh, while I'm waiting for somebody to make a suggestion, this is what I did for the home decor. This is just a cheap timber frame from one of the cheap shops and I've coloured her in black. Thanks Belinda and thanks for joining us today. I've coloured her in black and I've used black memento ink for nearly everything else. Down the bottom here of the lighthouse I stamped a little bit in blue Night of Navy and a cherry cobbler for the lighthouse. I think if I did it again, I'd switch the lighthouse around, have the cherry cobbler on this side and the black on the other side. And then I've just used um, sponges for the colour and the white chalk marker to give sort of little fluffy clouds. So anyway... That was my home day course thing. All right, so I think I'll go with Calypso Coral for one and hopefully somebody can um, confirm or suggest. Thanks, Helen. It was a bit of fun to do, you know. It's sort of a bit um, daunting to start with. You think, oh... Is this going to work? But I was quite ready to have um, a couple of goes at it. But didn't need to in the end. So I um, might still need that. It's just, um, I, I started out with a sponge brayer on the top uh, with some balmy blue. And... Um, yeah, then sponges. So it was um, all quite easy in the end. Um, so give it a go if you haven't done anything like that. Um, give it a try and what have you got to lose? A piece of card. You don't, you know, and you can always come back to it. That's the other thing, you know. Don't think you've got to finish it in one um, sitting 
because you can always come back and fiddle with it a little bit more. I did a lot of it at my cards group last week and then I came home and did some more colouring and added the white and what have you. All right, so, okay, now, so we've got our card base of Calypso Coral and our card front. Now, when you put this on the card front, you're going to have a little gap either side. So just sort of, you know, eyeball it. We want something to go down here and we want something up here. Now, in the stamp set, we've got all these gorgeous stamps. Um, so, we might for this one do Warmed with Love, Steeped in Friendship. How about that? And I'll get a bit of extra very vanilla. And for the um, other ones that I did, I did use the Stamparatus for these bits especially on this one so I could line up exactly where I wanted the stamp to go and then I'll stamp the cup on later so for this one I might just get a piece of scrap uh, very vanilla and my stamp and pierce mat when you do a video you've got to do it so that um, it's sort of in a more confined space and uh, it's a bit hard really. Haven't got as much space to move out on. Um, move out. Now, Alison, you'll be pleased. Look, I worked it out. This is Alison's trick for the new um, stamp pads that are a bit hard to open. If you hold it like that and press down, it pops up and opens. How good is that? Alan's, Alison's been trying to teach me this trick and I finally got it. And then if you put, get just get a cotton bud and run it along there with some uh, a little tiny bit of Vaseline on it, works a charm. So, Alison, I have to show you because I thought you'd be thrilled that I got it, finally. All right, so if I come in with some Calypso Coral and I've got an old ink pad here for this, I don't think any of us can afford to really replace all our ink pads for new ones. Um, and given that the old ones are still quite current, and we can use the new reinkers in them. All right, so that's that one. And I'm just going to bring in my big shot. Oh, I thought I'd ordered some new plates, but I must have taken the plates off to order something else instead. All right, so there's that one. And look at this lovely framelit. Just beautiful. So we might try this one. And that should go over there. All right. And you knew the Stampin' Up! framelits are great because what you see is what you get. And I'm just cutting today. I'm not embossing. Um, I'll do that for another day. So, there we go. So there's that bit. I might come in with some sponges. I'm not being organised. Have I got... I don't think I've got a Calypso Coral sponge. No, normally what I do with my sponges... 
is I cut them into sixths. So I cut the circle of the sponge in half, then cut each one into thirds, and then I punch out a, um, a shape right on it and staple it to the top of my sponge and I've got a handle. So love my sponges. Got to have storage options everywhere, don't we? All right, so I'm just going to come in with my sponge and just lightly give this a bit of a sponge. And I'll put all the measurements when I load this up onto my blog later in the week. I'll put all the measurements up so that you can use them for yourself to make a drapery card. So one lot of ink and I don't know, I seem to get a softer effect with sponges than I do with daubers, but anyway. What's your experience? Okay, thanks Helen for watching. Hello Brenda Wilson, how are you today? Wilkinson, that's it, Brenda Wilkinson. Sorry about that, read the name incorrectly while sponging. All right, so there's um, that and we might put something down the bottom here. How about one of these flowers? And I'll use this on the inside of the card as well. And I'm not actually going to use the Stamparatus today. I thought I would, but we'll give it a miss today. All right, so now I've got a card insert and an envelope ready as well so we'll do them while we're doing this bit of stamping and there's the envelope so right down bits in the way all right so that's the outside this is just the inside so i'm just going to stamp off a couple of times so there's the inside of our card done and the envelope there we go, they're done. And so we're making um, this card similar to that. Um, if you've just joined me, I'm Libby Dyson. I'm an independent stamina demonstrator in Australia. And thank you for spending time with me today. All right, so this image comes with a a bit that you can fill it in with as well. So let's see how we go with that. Oh, some of them stick really well. Okay, so I think that bit goes like that. Right. So I'll put my block on top and then I'm just going to stamp down. And then I'm going to stamp off because I don't want this to the colour to obliterate the image. How's that? Gee, that must be the first time I've got it almost right. Okay, so that's going on the front. I'll just close up my ink because I have this habit of putting my great paw prints on it. All right, now, you just come in with your um, paper piercer, take the backing off the tear and tape that we used earlier, pop this on. Now, yesterday when I was doing this, I found it was easier to line up one side and plop my finger on it sort of walk my fingers up there we go it's going to go there and then I'm going to come in with maybe this one and some glue dots now this is only narrow ribbon so it won't take a whole glue dot 
so I use my paper piercer and I just make a little ball with my paper piercer on where the glue dot is and then put it down on my card same for the other end put it down on my card alright and then across with the ribbon trim that off turn it over use some tearing tape just to secure those ends now don't forget the great joining um, deal at the moment one set of free ink pads worth $117 plus you get to choose which family you want and um, what else all for $169 so I worked out it's over $400 worth of, of um, bonuses that you get for $169 so um, check it out and I'd love you to join my team if you're not already a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and this is something you're considering if you think oh, you, you, you want to try the products first this is a great opportunity to get some of the products in your hands and play with them if you haven't got a catalogue and you'd like a catalogue, leave a comment in the box at the bottom and I'd be more than happy to send you a catalogue. So there's the joining fair, joining um, deal. There's, what else? The DSP. So the DSP that we've used today is one of the ones in the buy three choose the fourth one free and it's from a selected list so um, make sure you check that out as well and I've got the card in so here somewhere yeah and don't forget my choose it use it group go to my blog and you'll be able to apply uh, to join that group it's a closed Facebook group and it's open to anybody worldwide and it's all about using DSP so uh, I'd love you to join me doesn't matter where you're from doesn't matter whether you're a demonstrator or you're a non-demonstrator I'd love you to be in that group so uh, and I've got the tea room bundle so the photopolymer stamp set and the framelits are $67.50 if you order those through me this week I'll give you free postage and I'd love you to be a customer so my customers get um, a thank you gift from me and this month I'm sending you a free tutorial as well. Okay, so I'll just grab some dimensionals and we're nearly done. We'll have a look, see what we think. Um, now, with your dimensionals, don't be stingy. All right, I know, yeah, cut up all the edges, that's, that's great. I, I get that but you know what always put one in the middle so it doesn't um, sink because there's nothing worse than you spending a whole lot of time making a beautiful card and then some of the elements not looking crash hot because you didn't use enough dimensionals so don't be stingy with them all right, where are we going to put this? Have I got anybody with me still? So I could put it there with a bow there. What do you think? Or put it in the middle. I think I might put it to one side just to be different. Try and have it straight. All right, now. Here's my nifty little bow. 
tying tool and I do have these for sale and they'll come with instructions. Bob's been busy in the shed apart from doing shed stuff. He's made these. Now they'll go for six dollars plus postage. Postage shouldn't be that much and it'll come with instructions. So if you get one of these I'll show you what I do. Wrap your ribbon around, leave a tail if you're right-handed, leave a tail on your right hand and these um, dowels come out so you can have different size ribbons and I'm doing a double ribbon. So I come round the two dowels, I go round again and I've got my two loops. I cross over and then the one that's now in my right hand Good morning, Linda. How are you? One that's now in my right hand goes under like that. And then you just tie as you normally would. So very easy and it gives you a beautiful bow every time. All right, just tighten it up and neaten up the ends and we've got our bow. So I'll have those for sale. So if you'd like one, thanks, Leslie. I'm glad you like it. If you'd like a bow tying um, thing, let me know and um, I'll send you an invoice and then I can mail it out to you. All right, so just fiddle with these tails a bit and get another glue dot. Now always take your bows to your glue dot. Now I start off on the side of the glue dot that's closest to me and slide up when I've got these tiny bows so that it forms like a, you know, bit of a ball. Okay, so there it is. That's it. And I might... Um, let me think if we put a few pearls on this one just to be a bit different. So if you're not a demonstrator and you've commented today, I'm giving away a pack of pearls to one lucky viewer. They won't be like this pack that's a bit scungy. All right, because I've, I've used so much of it. Oh, next week I'm going over to um, Summersby to check out a campsite. So I might have a scrapbooking camp next year. So it won't be very expensive. A couple more pearls, do you think? All right, so that's our card for today. Now, we had this little bit left over. All right, so you can make another card. It'll go the opposite direction, but it doesn't have to. It can go the same direction. It's only going opposite because I decided to turn the um, DSP over. And you can make another card. So last night when I was making these, so this was the original, similar to that. All right, and we've got our envelope here. So I sent out 24 racks yesterday, so random acts of kindness. So check your letter, letterbox and see if you get one. All right, so no, this was the original that went with that. Okay, so those two are like that. This one is this one. So if I'd folded, folded the um, DSP the other way, it would be the same as this one. So it gives you, it's a little bit smaller, so it gives you a little bit more room on your card. You can bring it down a bit further and make a second card so don't throw it out. I'll make another card with this and I'll put it up on my blog. So I think that's it. I'll just flip you around. So that's it for today, I think. Um, 
Yeah, don't forget the joining deal, the DSP deal, and go to my blog and request to join my Choose It, Use It Facebook group, which is closed group, and you have to apply to belong. Um, it's for demonstrators and customers worldwide. And it'll be tips and tricks on using designer series paper, not just chopping it up for cards. So I'd love to have you in that group. I will put a link to it under the video in a short while um, so that you can join from this page as well. And you can, you'll be able to join and there'll be live videos and all sorts of things going on in there. There'll be prizes and um yeah competitions and things as well and it's free everybody loves something free and it'll be full of hopefully good ideas um and tips and tricks on using your designer series paper all right so i've got the time for tea bundle if you would like to purchase that this week through me with free postage so that's lots of reminders and that's it for today. Thanks so much for spending time with me. Bye for now. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line. Let us see inside your mind.